good morning children so today we are going to learn about the second part of thermodynamics video number 2 okay in this video we are going to learn about uh, the terms used in thermodynamics okay we are going to come across some important terms which are very much useful to learn okay so in this video we are going to learn about certain important terms used in thermodynamics okay so this is lalita peri the science teacher and basically i teach chemistry okay so let us start with the topic terms used in terms used in thermodynamics what are the important terms used in thermodynamics okay you will come across very important terms okay especially in this chapter so what are those terms first one is system and then surroundings and third one is boundary okay system surroundings and boundary these are the important terms okay which we are going to learn about in this video okay we are going to learn about types of systems and types of boundaries also so up to types of systems we we'll learn in this video right so what uh, let us learn first what is system system okay in thermodynamical terminology we come across the word system the word system stands for any part of uh, the thermodynamical process which is under investigation so system is defined as what the specified part the specified part the specified part of uh, a universe actually speaking a specified part of a universe which is under experimental investigation which is under experimental investigation okay now which is under experimental investigation okay that means what a system is something on which all observations are made okay all observations are made on system all observations okay any thermodynamical process okay if any thermodynamical process is happening then we have to observe the process and where the process is going on and to what you are observing that specified part you are calling it with the term system okay so all observations are made on system okay so a specified part of universe which is under experimental investigation is called system okay and then surroundings what is surroundings in the name itself it is there okay so anything which interacts with the system okay anything which keeps on interacting with the system you call it as what surroundings okay anything which interacts anything which interacts with the system okay i request all of you to please write a note okay please keep write and practice okay anything which interacts with the system anything which interacts with the system is called what surroundings okay na surroundings that means anything within the vicinity of the system within the reach of the system okay within the vicinity you will use the word within the vicinity of the system what is vicinity within the reach okay to your reach what are your surroundings okay you know right so within the vicinity of the system you call it as what surroundings or within the reach of the system whatever uh, uh, is there where the system will interact you call it as surroundings okay and the third one is what 
boundary okay and the third one is boundary so what is boundary anything which separates the system and surroundings is called as boundary anything which separates boundary anything which separates anything which separates the system and which separates the system and surroundings system and surroundings you call it as what boundary okay anything which separates the system and surroundings okay you call it as boundary you can take uh, one best example uh, like a hot liquid taken in a beaker okay suppose a hot liquid taken in a beaker imagine this to be the beaker in this hot liquid is taken okay so the hot liquid constitute the system okay the hot liquid the hot liquid hot water or you can take hot water any liquid hot liquid constitute what the system okay and within the vicinity of the system whatever is there you call it as surroundings okay within the vicinity of the system whatever is there you call it as what surroundings and this wall of the beaker wall of the beaker serves as what boundary wall of the beaker serves as boundary why it is like that because through that wall of the beaker heat exchange is happening in thermodynamics what we have learned in previous video if you not if you have not watched my previous video please watch the previous video also then you will be understanding thermodynamics mainly deals with what heat exchange here heat exchange takes place through what through the wall of that beaker isn't it so wall of the beaker serves as what boundary okay so three important terms system surroundings and boundary okay and you have boundary if you speak about a boundary boundary is again classified into different types okay boundary boundaries boundary can be either rigid or flexible rigid boundary or a flexible boundary and boundary can be real and imaginary boundary can be real and imaginary okay and boundary can be boundary can be dhyadharmic and adiabatic boundary can be dhyadharmic and adiabatic okay so boundary can be of different types okay it can be a rigid rigid means fixed solid okay fixed solid fixed boundary solid fixed boundary and flexible flexible means movable you can understand like this movable okay flexible or movable boundary okay real and imaginary a real boundary as how now you have uh, learnt that wall of the beaker is a real boundary from which heat exchange can takes place okay imaginary boundary sometimes surface of water okay suppose evaporation phenomenon is happening surface of water acts as boundary we have to imagine that uh, okay the surface of the water from which heat exchange is happening vaporization is happening suppose okay surface of water okay will acts as a boundary that can be an imaginary boundary okay so real it can be a real boundary and it can be an imaginary boundary and this is very important boundary can be diathermic as well as adiabatic so what is diathermic what is adiabatic that we have to learn okay this is a specific terminology which we are using everything which we know previously which we have studied but 
we are using different terms here that's it isn't it we are using different terms okay so here diadharmic boundary diadharmic stands for what conducting boundary conducting conducting boundary is called what diadharmic boundary conducting means what which allows heat to pass through it heat exchange can takes place means it is not insulated whereas adiabatic adiabatic boundary means non conducting adiabatic non conducting boundary okay now non conducting boundary previously in our lower classes we have learned conductors insulators isn't it substances which allows heat or electricity to pass through them you call them as conductors and insulators are the substances which does not allows heat to pass through them we have learned in that terminology but in thermodynamics we are going to use a different terminology what is that conducting boundary non conducting boundary but we use the words diathermic and adiabatic okay diathermic boundary means conducting boundary and adiabatic boundary means non conducting boundary or insulating boundary okay so three types of classifications are there for boundary real and imaginary diathermic and adiabatic okay uh, resident flexible right so this is about boundary now let us learn types of systems okay types of systems very very important concept okay types of systems so what are the different types of systems so three types of systems are there we have mainly based on um, based on uh, the exchange of mass and exchange of energy we have three uh, types of systems are there so before we actually learn for the types of systems first of all we should know what happens why the classification is made okay the classification is made based on what okay classification is made based on classification based on two things one is mass exchange okay mass exchange and energy exchange energy exchange please understand these points carefully okay mass exchange means nothing but exchange of matter with surroundings exchange of matter with surroundings exchange of matter with surroundings you call it as mass exchange okay mass exchange exchange of matter means conversion happens from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas okay in such case if conversion is happening how the difference will be there in the mass of that particular substance which you have taken there may be a change in mass of the substance in some cases there may not be uh, change in the mass sometimes okay sometimes mass may exchange and sometimes mass may not be exchanged also okay and in the same way energy exchange we have learnt in the previous video that exchange of energy <coughs> mainly thermodynamics deals with what exchange of energy in the form of heat or in the form of work or in the form of radiation we have learnt okay so exchange of energy in the form of what in the form of heat in the form of work in the form of radiation okay exchange of energy can also happen based on these two factors the classification is made okay now based on these two factors based on mass exchange and based on energy exchange okay uh, classification is made system is classified into three types okay three types of classification what are those three types first one is open system 
okay system is classified into three types open system second one is closed system okay second one is closed system and third one is isolated system isolated system so we will learn about the classification of these three types of systems okay so please make a note and keep writing please write and practice right i am rubbing the board right so open system i said based on these two factors the classification is made okay so what is the classification let us see the classification how we can understand this so open system in open system what happens okay in closed system what happens and in isolated system what happens <coughs> open system closed system and isolated system open system closed system and isolated system okay so open system open system is the type of system in which mass exchange can happen as well as energy exchange also can happen i said the classification is based on these two factors please remember okay so open system is the type of system in which mass exchange can happen mass exchange there will be change in mass okay during a thermodynamical process change in mass will happen if it happens you call it as open system mass exchange can happen okay and energy exchange also can happen energy exchange also can happen both factors will happen in case of open system okay in case of closed system mass exchange won't happen okay mass exchange won't happen okay only energy exchange can happen only energy exchange can happen but in isolated system both will not happen no mass exchange no energy exchange mass exchange won't happen energy exchange also won't happen okay now energy exchange also won't happen okay that means what is happening in this how you are classifying open system in the name itself it is there it is open okay that means the system can nicely interact with surroundings isn't it the system can nicely interact with surroundings how can it interact with surroundings because the boundary is not sealed it is open isn't it here boundary is not sealed boundary is not sealed okay boundary is not sealed and boundary is not even insulated also not sealed not insulated boundary is not sealed not insulated that's why nicely energy exchange is happening heat is going away easily isn't it or not that is what you call it as open system boundary is not sealed okay it's open and the walls of the boundary are also what type of walls diathermic walls conducting so not uh, nicely heat exchange can happen easily that is what you call it as what open system but you should use this terminology okay boundary is not sealed not insulated but here here mass exchange won't happen but energy exchange happens that means boundary is sealed from top boundary is sealed boundary is sealed but not insulated heat exchange can happen from walls of the beaker isn't it sealed but not insulated but not insulated boundary is sealed but not insulated 
in case of isolated system it is both sealed as well as insulated pakka pakad bandi plan okay na nothing should go out everything inside the beaker only okay all uh, security okay full tight security is there no one is supposed to go out isn't it so isolated okay so isolated you have uh, seen using the word the person who gets covid is totally uh, restricted to a single room is not supposed to come out isn't it or not so it is boundary is sealed as well as insulated boundary is sealed as well as insulated okay sealed as well as insulated okay so that is what you call it as isolated system okay now let us learn some examples okay so in case of uh, open system okay if you go for open system example for open system okay for open system if you take a beaker okay in that hot liquid is there okay it's not sealed it's open okay open but uh, walls of the boundary are what insulated sorry not insulated open means not sealed and boundary is diathermic okay now boundary is diathermic means nicely conducting heat exchange can happen diathermic means what conducting boundary is conducting okay hot liquid you have taken in this so evaporation can happen okay system is what here hot liquid hot liquid hot water is your system okay system hot water constitute system boundary is of what type diathermic that means it's a conducting boundary okay not insulating means conducting only no and open means not sealed so what happen from here evaporation takes place as well as from sides okay now from sides from sides also from sides also heat exchange takes place okay now from sides from sides also heat exchange takes place okay you call it as what open system from sides also heat exchange takes place heat exchange can happen okay heat exchange can happen okay here mass exchange also can happen so for this best example what i can give you is in this uh, suppose if you take cold water i didn't take hot water suppose best example there mass exchange can happen up to now you can see see if water is hot if exchange of heat takes place will the mass change no mass will not change okay na will the level of water decreases water hot water becomes cool water that's it okay in the open system but i am saying that mass exchange also can happen then you can take one best example for that where mass also gets disappeared decrease in mass you can observe mass exchange one example i have one example uh, like what highly reactive metals okay so here highly reactive metal like sodium metal highly reactive sodium metal sodium metal if you take okay if you drop sodium metal in water okay you can take sodium metal in water okay then what happens sodium metal vigorously reacts with water and it melts and disappears totally please remember open system best example is what cold water is my system cold water in that sodium metal i am dropping sodium highly reactive metal you all know sodium or potassium even you can take okay so sodium metal if you drop then what happens 
sodium metal vigorously react vigorously react with water cold water okay even with cold water it can vigorously react so that what happens Be beaker becomes hot beaker becomes hot okay after dropping the sodium metal sodium metal disappears okay then what about the mass of sodium metal exchanged no it is no way after the uh, reaction is completed you will not find sodium metal anyway okay any more you will not find sodium metal in the water because it disappears it reacts and disappears so mass of sodium metal is exchanged isn't it mass exchange can happen energy exchange also can happen right so sodium metal reaction with water you can take it as a best example for open system okay mass exchange can happen energy exchange also can happen energy exchange beaker is becoming hot if you touch the beaker so hot you will feel it okay so that is one thing and next closed system for closed system what is the example for closed system here as i said boundary is sealed from top okay closed system closed system okay boundary is sealed okay here you are closing this closed okay sealed sealed but uh, this is diathermic only from top only heat exchange is not happening but from sides it is happening okay diathermic means conducting boundary means not insulated okay hot water you have taken okay so what happens after some time hot water becomes cold water that's it that means mass exchange mass will not change okay hot water is my system hot water okay heat passes diathermic means heat goes away heat goes away heat goes away from the surroundings uh, from the diathermic boundary to the surroundings okay so hot water after sometimes becomes after all the heat goes away all the heat goes away through diathermic boundary hot water will become cool water but will there be any change in mass no okay so mass exchange won't happen but energy exchange will happen isn't it mass will not change previously in open system sodium metal disappeared isn't it sodium metal mass changed okay now coming to isolated system okay isolated system so isolated system means best example is thermos flask you people will be using thermos flask okay everything is sealed from sides also adiabatic boundary as well as from top also adiabatic to totally sealed pakad bandi plan security isn't it as just now i said boundary is sealed as well as insulated okay so isolated system isolated means what pakka planning okay from top sealed okay and this is insulated also so no heat exchange no mass exchange isn't it no heat exchange and no exchange of mass also no exchange of mass okay and best example is what thermos flask thermos flask is the best example right so this is isolated system okay nothing goes out so hot water if you take hot water remains hot for long time okay if you take cold water cold water remains cool for long time okay from the from inside the uh, substance heat won't go out no exchange of energy okay no exchange boundary is sealed system and surroundings are no way in contact with each other okay so that you call it as what isolated okay so these are the three types of 
systems based on what exchange of mass and energies okay and you have one more classification okay based on uh, the type of uh, composition of uh, the sub substances okay based on the composition you have another classification is there okay classification based on composition classification based on composition okay based on composition classification another classification is also there for systems based on what compositions what are the homogeneous system and a heterogeneous system homogeneous and heterogeneous systems okay in your lower classes you might have learnt mixtures homogeneous mixtures heterogeneous mixtures okay so homogeneous uh, system and heterogeneous system right what is it so homogeneous system yes the type of system homo means stands for what same okay if the composition of a system remains the same throughout the process you call it as what homogeneous system okay homogeneous homogeneous system in this the composition the composition of the system remains the same throughout the process the composition of the system remains the same remains the same or uniform throughout the process uniform throughout the process okay throughout the process you call it as what homogeneous system means system is made up of one type of component uh, component only okay system consists of one phase only please remember that point system consists of one phase only okay then you call it as what homogeneous system okay na system consists of one phase only system consists of one phase only okay one phase only either totally it may be a solid substance or totally a liquid substance of one type only okay or a gaseous substance of one type only even mixture of gases you can take but all are gases okay one liquid one gas mixture it's not like that okay so the system consists of one phase only okay like only um one uh, sodium metal if you take sodium metal or uh, gold metal solid okay throughout the process the substance remains like solid only okay then you call it as the system as homogeneous if liquid remains to be like liquid throughout the process you call it as homogeneous system if gas remains like gas throughout the process without converting into liquid or without converting into gas con uh, liquid converting into gas no uh, change of uh, matter okay now change of matter won't happen then throughout the process if it remains same you call it as homogeneous system okay throughout the process composition of the system remains same you call it as homogeneous in the same way heterogeneous heterogeneous you are going to take two phases okay in the system you are going to take two phases heterogeneous system okay system constitutes two phases system constitute two phases what are those two phases suppose uh, um ice in water okay ice in water ice is of solid phase water is of liquid phase okay or you can take a uh, two immiscible liquids two immiscible liquids okay two immiscible liquids like uh, oil and water you can take okay two different phases oil and water okay kerosene and water two immiscible liquids uh, with different boiling points okay so if you take two different substances which are of different phases as a system 
then you call then you call it as what heterogeneous system okay so this is one classification based on what composition okay so this is all about the different terms which are to be used in thermodynamics very important okay system surroundings and boundary and we have learnt about types of boundaries real and uh, uh, imaginary resident flexible diathermic and adiabatic okay and in the same way types of systems based on the mass exchange and energy exchange three types of uh, systems are there open system closed system and uh, what we call isolated system okay so this is all about uh, uh, types of systems and uh, homogeneous heterogeneous also okay so please uh, keep writing notes and keep learning okay your hard work is your super power thanks for watching and those who are visiting my channel for the first time request all of you to please subscribe to my channel right thank you all